All it needs is some good stories. Oh boy, the beach! What a great day! Just look at that hat go! Hello, Sergeant Murphy! I'll bet you can write some great stories for the Busy Town Storymobile. That's if you're not too busy. Oh, but I am much too busy. I have to direct traffic in the parking lot, clean up the beach, and fly kites. What if we helped you? Then could you write some stories? Well then, yes, you bet I could. Let's help park the cars in the right spaces. Just find and click the car that matches the sign. Then click the sign to put it in the parking place. Hooray! Terrific! Nice job! You got it! That's right! Hooray for you! We sure know our cars. We help park all of them. That was fun. Now let's see if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. Or we can park some more cars. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Thanks, Sergeant Murphy. It'll be a good one to read on the beach. Boy, is the beach messy. Find and click all the things that have the same ending sound as the picture on the trash can. Then click on the trash can. And the beach will look great when we finish. Remember, we're listening for the ending sound, like hat and bat. They both end with t. Bell. Good work. Bell snail. Nice job. Shell. Way to go. Shell. L shell. Ends with. That can is full. Now there are five to go. Hat. Boat. That's great! Pot. Excellent! Ant. Terrific! Ant. T 
and ends with t. Basket. Basket. Hooray for you! Basket. T. Basket. Ends with t. That can is full. Four more. Bug. Dog. That's great. Dog. Bag. Way to go. Pig. You got it. Pig. G. Pig. And bug. That can is full. Three left. Bag. Pig. Hooray for you. Pig. Terrific. Log. Nice job. Log. G. Log. Ends with G. Wig. You got it. Wig. G. Wig. Ends with G. That can is full. Only two left. Ship. Map. That's right. Map. Cup. Hooray for you. Cap. Good work. Cap. P. Cap. Ends with jeep. Nice job. Jeep. P. Jeep. Ends with p. That can is full. Only one more to go. Grapes. House. Way to go. House. Sink. Blocks. That's great. Bl mouse. Excellent. Mouse. S mouse. Ends with. Wow, the beach looks great. We cleaned it all up. I wonder if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. We could go find him. Or we can keep picking things up off the beach. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Huckle, Loli, you've been so busy. And I just put my second story in the story mobile. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Murphy. Another story. Look at those kites. If we match the picture on one kite with the word on another, I'll bet they'll go way up in the sky. Read each word, then Find the picture that goes with it and make those kites fly high. B. Terrific. Apple. Hooray for you. Snail. That's great. Lamb. Way to go. Fly some more kites. Corn. You got it. Pig. Hooray for you. Cat. Terrific. Nice job. Fly 
fly some more kites. Wig. You got it. Bell. That's right. Fish. Hooray for you. Cake. Good work. Fly some more kites. Eggs. Nice job. Glow. Way to go. Cup. That's great. Frog. Excellent. It, Loli. We matched up all of the kites. All high flyers, too. Now let's go see if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. Or we can fly some more kites. Uncle Loli, I just finished my third story, and I couldn't have done it without your help. It's waiting for you in the story mobile. Thanks, Sergeant Murphy. I can't wait to read this one. The Treasure Hunt Huckle and Lowly are at the beach. What do you want to do, Huckle? Lowly asks. Let's look for treasure, suggests Huckle. Okay, says Lowly. But where? Huckle looks around the beach. He sees something on the sand. Look, Loli, says Huckle. X marks the spot. <coughs> Huckle and Loli start to dig. Suddenly, something goes clank. It sounds like silver, says Huckle. Huckle digs up the treasure. But it's only an old tin can. Huckle and Loli dig some more. Suddenly, something goes Clunk! It sounds like gold, says Huckle. Huckle digs it up. But it isn't gold. It's only an old wheel. <coughs> Huckle and Loli get tired of digging. They decide to walk along the beach and look for treasure. Huckle and Loli find lots of things on the beach. An umbrella? a pail, and an old shirt. But they don't find any treasure. They pick up cans, bottles, and newspapers, too. But still no treasure. Huckle and Loli stop at Bruno's snack stand. They show Bruno what they found on the beach. Maybe you didn't find any treasure. Bruno says, but I never saw the beach look so clean. Bruno gives an ice cream cone to Huckle and Lowly. That's for cleaning up the beach, he says. You boys did a great job. Wow! Thanks, Bruno, they say. I guess we found treasure today after all. Fun in the sun. The sun is high. The temperature's hot. The waves lap at the sand. Hilda's going to the beach with her beach bag in her hand. First, Hilda takes out sunscreen and spreads it everywhere. Then comes the chair and umbrella and a hat to cover her hair. Out comes a bucket and shovel to build sand castles today. But first, she drinks lots of water. Her body keeps cool that way. 
What else can Hilda have in that bag? Ah, sunglasses and a book. Everything a hippo could want. Hilda surely took. Because she packed her bag so well, she's really got it made. Sometimes the best kind of fun in the sun is really in the shade. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble! It is a windy day at the beach. Mr. Frumble builds a sand castle by the shore. Whoops! The wind blows Mr. Frumble's hat away. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls Sally Cat as it blows by. <coughs> Mr. Frumble chases his hat down the beach. The hat blows out onto the water. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls Huckle, swimming by. Mr. Frumble chases his hat into the water. The hat blows onto a boat. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, yells Captain Willie as it sails by. Mr. Frumble chases his hat onto the boat. But now the hat blows on top of the lighthouse. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls the lighthouse keeper. Mr. Frumble chases his hat to the top of the lighthouse. He nearly gets it. All of a sudden, a puff of wind blows it back down the beach. Poor Mr. Frumble. Mr. Frumble's hat blows right through Bruno's snack stand. Look out, everyone! yells Bruno. Suddenly, the wind stops blowing. Mr. Frumble's hat lands on Hilda's beach chair. Uh-oh! everyone calls. Quick! Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble! You can write your own story here. Type the words you want. There are two ways to choose pictures for your story. Click the arrows or use the busy town buttons to get a picture about that place. Don't forget to print your story by clicking the printer button. Use the silly arrow button to write a silly story. Here is a silly story you can help write. Use the arrows to choose another story. Click the words and pictures to fill in the blanks. Click the read button to hear your story read aloud. Don't forget to print your story by clicking the printer button. Anchor and Ham. Ladder. Olives. Yo-yo. Zipper.
egg. Farmer Soybean is a good anchor. He likes to grow ham and and one day he saw that his lad were ripe. So he picked them and put them in his olive. Farmer Soybean took yo-yo to the zip. Then he went back to the egg. Are you sure you want to leave?